Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner tutorial and today it's on how to create your very own modded server using the AT Launcher. This is super simple to do, it's very quick and there are tons of mod packs to choose from. So let's just jump into it. So the first thing we want to do is go to our SMPitnik control panel, head over to the left and click the installer button. This will give you the opportunity to install a ton of different things from Spigot to Pixelmon, but if we scroll down, we want to find the AT Launcher mod packs in the categories. So go ahead and click that and then it's going to give you a very, very long list of hundreds of mods that work with the AT Launcher. And you can just choose one at random. I'm going to go for the unabridged one, so go ahead and click Versions. And once we're here, it's probably best to choose the latest version, so we will remember that is 3.19.3. .3. That is important for later. And then once you get here, you can either create a new world or load one if you have one. Uh, we're just going to create a brand new world and hit install. Now this will take a couple of minutes to install all the files for your server. So while that's doing that, let's download the AT Launcher. So if we come over to atlauncher.com slash downloads, it will give you a link to all the different downloads. So recommended is obviously Windows, but if you've got Linux or something else, you can download that. So go ahead and click that. And then once it has downloaded, go ahead and open up the exe file. And then you just want to go through the install launcher and then this should be very quick to download and install. Once that is finished, we can go ahead and launch the AT Launcher. Okay, so this is what it looks like once you open it for the first time. You want to go ahead and go to Account on the right, and then what you want to do is just log in with your Minecraft account. And there we go. I clicked Add, and you can see LT Gym down at the bottom. That is me. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and go to the Pack section on the right. And then we can go ahead and find the same pack that we just installed to our server. So if you can't see it in the main list, you can just go ahead and search for it. But I believe I just saw it up here somewhere. So the pack we installed was unabridged. We're going to search for that. And here it is. So then once we are here, we can click new instance. And then this is where you want to check the version. So the server version we installed was 3.19.3. .3, and that is correct. And we are going to hit install. And then we're going to hit OK. So just click install and then it's 100 megabytes. So we'll wait for that to be downloaded. So once it's done, you should get this message. Just go ahead and click OK. And then we can go ahead and click instances on the right. And then we have the only one that we've actually installed here. And go ahead and click play. And then what it's going to do is open up Minecraft. And then we should be able to join our server. So here we go. Minecraft is opening up and it's loading all the various mods. So this should take a few seconds to a couple of minutes. And here we are, so this is what the menu looks like. We want to go to multiplayer and then add our server that we created earlier. And then once we've done that, we can go ahead and join our server. So here we are, we're now on our very own unabridged modded server using the AT Launcher. It's as simple as that, and if we wanted to change mods, we could do that very, very easily and quickly. And that is how we would do it. So if you have any questions, leave them down below or head over to the link in the description for the written tutorial. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.